Hi, I'm Derek Kerr with Evolution Wheel, and today we're back at Humphrey, Nebraska, where we've been running our EWS Pivot Series tires on this pivot behind me. They're running on the end tower, and it's August 22nd. We're back here to give you an update on the progress that these tires have been making through the growing season in terms of rutting and tracking compared to the 11 224s that are running on the next two towers beside it. Let's hop into the corn and see how the tires have been performing since we were last here. Okay, so this is the track that our EWRS Pivot Series tire is laying down in this field. We're at 13 rounds, it's August 22nd. And uh, last time we were here, this track was really kind of non-existent. And it's really not that much different, except it's maybe a little bit fresher and it hasn't had a, a rain wash it out at all. So, um, you know, the track's maybe inch, two at the most. And uh, yeah, this is where we're at after 13 rounds in this field. As you can see, the corn cobs are full. Um, there's a little bit of filling left to do in some of the kernels, but this field's pretty close to being done growing. Okay, so we're now standing at the 11224 track. That's the next tower over from where our pivot tires are running. Um, this is the same bottom draw that our other ones are going through. This is a fair bit different though. I would say that in the bottom here, the track depth is somewhere between um, six and eight inches versus one to two on ours. Um, and then as you go up, you know, we'd be a solid six over here and just looking up, I'm seeing, you know, three to four inches as we go up the hill. So definitely making a deeper rut with the 11 to 24 pneumatic compared to our pivot tire. Okay. So this is the track now up the hill from the gully, a fair ways, um, on top of one of the ridges. Now the track here is again, same thing as we saw in the gully, it's maybe like inch, two inches. Now, the big thing that I would say about this is that it's very consistent all the way through. Um, and the big thing that I'm saying one or two inches isn't necessarily because of the depth of the track, it's more because of this ridging on the side. So you can actually like kick it and kick that ridging away. And then here's my foot and the pivot track is right basically in line with it. I'm not gonna necessarily say it's inches deep, it's more, the ridges on the side that um, have formed beside the track that is causing that quote unquote inch or two. Other than that, it's fairly level. So that's where we're at at this part in the field. Let's go take a peek on the other side of the gully at a different spot and see if it's any different. Okay, so we're on the opposite side of the gully draw. It's just basically ridging on either sides that's forming the track. The tire track itself is level with the existing terrain. So, you know, you can call it a one inch track, you can call it a two inch track, or you could just say that it's ridged on either side you know, 13 rounds in this field, I'll take that. So that's where we're at at this point in the season. Now let's go check out the 11 24 track on the next tower over and see how that's going. Okay, so this is the tire track for the 11 24 uphill from the gully. It's not horrible, but it is different than what we're seeing on our EWRS Pivot Series. Here I'd say that there is actually a rut that's formed that's below the grade of the, uh, the train. So, you know, if I step in, um, we're probably about ankle depth and it's, you know, three, four inches, not something you're going to drag gearboxes on, but you know, there is a difference here. So this is where we're at at this point in the field after 13 rounds. Okay. So 11 to 24 pneumatic track on the other side of the gully up the hill. What my comments would be here is really, uh, there is a track, there is a rut. We're probably somewhere in the two to four inch range, depending on where we measure. Uh, the, the one th thing I will comment on though, is that you're seeing a little bit more pronounced ridging with this tire, just because of that pneumatic having a crown, you know, it's wanting to push that mud out to the side. Uh, a little bit more ridging and, you know, a two to four inch track. And that's, uh, that's where we are in this part of the field after 13 rounds. Okay, so this is actually the third tower in from the end. Uh, we showed you this set of tires last time. This is another 11 to 24 pneumatic, and this is in the same uh, low gully spot. Um, for whatever reason, this, this tire is actually performing worse than the other 11 to 24. I don't know if it's because of uh, soil conditions or tread type or just something off on the pivot. Um, but uh, you can see here that the, the track in the bottom of this gully is definitely a lot wider, uh, deeper, and um, that's fairly consistent all the way up. Um, you know, it kind of looks to me like a four to six inch track on both sides versus uh, a little bit less than the other one. So, you know, two different examples of 11 to 24 uh, tire tracks in this field compared to our EWS pivot series. The pivot series is putting down about a one to two inch track. 
Uh, and here we've got ruts that are uh, anywhere between, you know, six and, and eight to 10 inches and also wider. So um, this is really starting to be the difference uh, at this point in the season between uh, the pivot series from us and the 11 to 24 pneumatics uh, after 13 rounds. Okay, so that is the progress that we're seeing on the EWRS Pivot Series that's running on the end tower on the pivot in this field, as well as the two 11224s that are running on the second and third last towers. Um, observations would be reduction in rutting for the EWRS Pivot Series compared to the 11224. Uh, if I had to put a number on it, I'd say it's roughly 75% less rutting um, and track depth versus the 11224 pneumatics. So. I'm Derek Herb with Evolution Wheel. Stay tuned. We have another episode coming in this field to show you exactly what happens at the end of the season after all of the irrigation is done.